Hello everyone and welcome back to another train simulator video. So pretty much that's what that says. We're at Cosham and we are going to Portsmouth Harbour. So one Foxtrot 07, three, what was that? One Foxtrot 07, three, one Foxtrot 07. Right, quick, quick, quick. Let's um, get this all set up. Uh, yes, forward. Well, actually really for now we want that. But yeah, we're at Cosham at the moment, which I didn't think was actually modelled in the game. But it is. Although this is the revamped Portsmouth direct line, so that maybe that's why. Um, so that's coming on. We need to get that set up fairly quick. Come on. As we wait, come on. Registration. Powering up. Testing. Come on. We we need to go. I suppose we could get. No, we won't. Let's get the doors open here. Uh, just whilst I suppose we're waiting. I think they're open. Right. One. Fox trot. 07 and it was 312 wasn't it if I can remember correctly that should be getting us set up uh, let's get oh driver saying we're, the guard saying we're ready to go right nice and quick there you go send that back to him that goes to forward get that on headlights aren't even set up yet so that's the day head tail lights no go away I think we're all good I think that's everything. Yeah, we're in the very weird 158 where you've sort of got one coach glued on to, uh, well, that. It, it's weird. And I remember seeing this in real life and thinking, hang on, that doesn't look right. But no, it's uh, what they do. I suppose I suppose it's a bit like the Bakerloo line trains, the 1972 stock. They used to be... To, uh, you know, a few coaches, and they added a sort of couple on. So it looks really weird. You've sort of got this middle cab. Um, yeah, it looks very weird, but it's how it is in real life. Of course, cool. so yeah, we'll take it to Portsmouth Harbour. Actually, it is a scenario you, you're supposed to go there and back. Um, but we're only go there. So there's not really any point going back. As we'll probably be sitting at Ports of Harbour for a few minutes. There we go. So around we go. It's uh, Fratton next. But the original idea for this video was actually doing it in a 313. Uh, from... Uh, Warblington to Portsmouth and Southsea. Um, but and I, as I was just looking through the scenarios, I saw this one. I was like, oh, we haven't done that before. And that makes the most of the 158, which we only picked up fairly recently uh, on the um, AP website. So I thought, well, we're coming in. Here. Give it a go again. That's all fine. Let's uh, get that up. Cool. And we've got a 20 coming up as well. So if we just stick to that, I suppose. As we're sort of on this uh, triangle bit of track at the moment. It's weird because it's, uh, yeah, this is a triangle here. And you've got like a whole industrial estate just in the middle. Sort of just squidged in. Yeah, this is GWR, so I think GWR, I want to take a guess and say it's Perkins. Or is it Cummins? I think it is Perkins, GWR, isn't it? I don't really pay attention, I just went straight into it. And then we go over onto Port Sea Island. I mean, Portsmouth is, oh, it's an island. <laughs> Port Sea Island. Well, I believe so. Get that up. Yeah, so it is very weird just seeing that there. It's like, hang on, they must have rotated it the wrong way or something. No, it's they're like that in real life. I remember the first time I saw it, it freaked me out. I was like, whoa. Uh, so this is Hill Sea we're coming up on. Let's get a nice shot going through here. Hope there's no uh, cautionary signals. No, there's not. We're all good. There it comes out on this uh, rather miserable uh, morning. Uh, 
There we go. Probably could do it hardless, but I'll keep it on there. Uh, keep it on for now. Not too far along to Fratton. So we've got Fratton, Portsmouth and South Sea, and Portsmouth Harbour at 1050. Um, 10.50? Oh yeah, 20 minutes. It said, well, yeah, it said, it said we were 10 minutes. Um, no, 20 minutes late, didn't it? Um, so yeah, that's a bit, all a bit off. Nice and quick along here. And somewhere along here you've got like a prison as well. Uh, which I think is coming up fairly soon. You'll sort of see it. I've been on this part. Of the, I've been yeah. I've been on this line many times in real life. And yeah, somewhere along here, there's like a big prison which you go past. Well, at least it looks like a prison. Sort of high walls, barbed wire at the top, towers. You might have actually already gone past it. Where is it coming up now? But that was somewhere along here. And then we've got a 40 as well to come down to. That's coming down nicely. Yes, yeah, something a. Uh, well, not a, well, a little bit different. Because I don't think we have run the uh, 158 on this route before. So. Does GWR do serve Portsmouth? But not Brighton anymore anymore, unfortunately. As they cut back their um, GWR service to Brighton, sadly. I don't think it either I think it I think it was then gonna start having but then that didn't happen. So I think yeah, I don't think GWR even go past sort of Portsmouth now. Or at least go past really go past Cosham towards Haven't. Could be wrong though. But yeah, unfortunately they um, cut that service, which is a bit sad because it was sort of another a long distance service cut to Brighton. One of those little cool services. I think you had the Ashford International one, the GWR one to Great Marvin and Bristol and Cardiff. They it seems like they always alternated where they went. Um, yeah, so many sort of places, long distance services have been cut from Brighton. I know the Thameslink ones are quite long distance, but, you know, other operators, cross country, GWR, even Southwest Trains. Southwest Trains uh, used to operate um, a Brighton service. I think it was Brighton to Salisbury. Yeah, Brighton to Salisbury, I think. I don't know why Paynton comes to mind. No, it wouldn't be bloody Paynton. That's just ages away. Yeah, Brighton to Salisbury. But they cut that as well. So the only operator now at Brighton is GTR. Right. Where's our buzzer? There we go. Right, let's go to Portsmouth and South Sea next. Platform 2. There's actually, we've already gone through that signal, just the way train sim works. So we're five coaches on this run. Which a mate of mine very nicely gave me one of these. And it's a, uh, I ignore the way it says free at the moment. I sort of looked and I was like, oh yeah, we probably should change that. Uh, it's a formation reminder. I don't know how well you could actually see that on there. Um, and it's well in the name, what it does, it reminds you of your formation number. Uh, so we are five coaches. It's probably a bit pointless now, so at the end of the journey, almost. But there you go, five coaches. I've said it to you now. Probably find them online actually, for a fairly uh, cheap price. I suppose if you play Train Sim, Train Sim World a lot, fairly handy. Although well, saying that, I've only stopped at the wrong marker, I think once or twice. As I remember each time. <laughs> Oh, 
This is actually my first time on the revamped version of the Portsmouth Direct Line, which is available on ATS for free. Um, as the video we were going to do on it before, it was really laggy. I think it was Hampton Court to Waterloo in the 707. And yeah, it was really laggy, so I sort of binned off the video in the end. So I wasn't really happy with it. Um, that's because it was on like, the busiest section of the route, full AI. Um, so yeah, I suppose it's nice to actually on it. So you can see, uh, I suppose, differences. To just look slightly more up to date. In some ways. Five coaches. A little bit further. There we go. There's something nice about Ports of Harbour, though, isn't there? So the way you sort of. Uh, I know this is like the bypass line for Portsmouth and South Sea. You sort of go round the side of the sort of terminating platforms, and then you sort of go on the high sort of embankment, and then dip down onto sort of the pier of Portsmouth Harbour Station. It's I know it's just a very nice sort of weird part of line, but it's it's very nice. Yeah, sort of come up here, then go onto the very high embankment, and then dip down quite steeply into uh, Portsmouth Harbour. And that, where that's on, I think, stilts some of it, and you've got the uh, Naval Museum next year, the Spinnaker Tower. This is a very um, picturesque um, location. You see quite a lot of um, sort of scenario winners and screenshots being. I want to try and get the exact place. It's usually sort of here or so where you've sort of got the train coming along the spinner tower in the background wins quite a few screenshot competitions it seems there are no spare GWR drivers able to relieve you at Portsmouth Harbour so you have to drive the beginning of the return journey to Cardiff Central that's nice of them right let's go there you go the very skinny 158 I don't find it why they have such skinny doors though, the um, 158s. That's just really skinny doors. Oh, we're speeding. Well, it's a standard scenario, so don't panic. Let's uh, we'll get a screenshot as well along here. It's only one mile an hour. Let's uh, do that. Uh, pause that because that's just a great way to take screenshots. And we'll get a nice little one. Maybe like that. Yeah. That will that will do. And I'm recording this quite late as well. So hopefully I'm not blabbering on or talking nonsense. It's uh, quarter past midnight at the moment. So I've been out working uh, today. At Falmer. I've got that down to 20. So I didn't really know what to record, and I sort of saw this and I was like, ooh. So I just streamed doing that, uh, haven't to uh, Portsmouth. Yeah, you've got Gunwharf Key over to the uh, left of the station. Gunwharf Key Shopping Centre as well. Portsmouth is, a, is a, same as Southampton. Very nice places for uh, shopping. Well, I think South, one of my favourite shopping centres I've been to the West Key Shopping Centre in uh, Southampton. That place is like, wow. Oh yeah, we're going to be coming over on one of the... Uh, yeah, the far end platform. I never stopped on this side before. So every time we do this, we're either, I suppose, SWT or Southern. As we haven't done SWR on here before. There's a very nice Termini station. 
then direct links to the Isle of Wight um, ferries. Although, if you're in Portsmouth, go to the Naval Museum. It's very expensive, but it's very 150% worth it. And there's HMS Warrior. I've got a question for chat, though, for the comments. Why is this platform shut? Was it ever an operational platform? I mean, yeah, why is it, why is it like that? Why isn't there a platform... Actually, how's it listed on the on the map? I've got to be quite careful here, actually. Yeah, but what what what, hap what happened to Portsmouth Harbour Platform Two? Why is it why is it not there? Was it I don't know, too much weight on the uh, pier or something? So they had to close it. Why is there no Platform Two here? And here we are. This is Portsmouth Harbour. And yeah, there's like a 10 minute wait here, so I'm not going to wait that long. Let's do that, do that, uh, set that to off. Uh, GSMR, yeah, it's deregistering. Yeah, that's deregistering that. There we go. Well, that is going to be it, everyone, uh, for today's uh, video on the Portsmouth Direct Line revamped. Uh, well, I'll leave a link for it um, below if I remember. Uh, if you do want to give the revamped version a go yourself, not actually too sure what it does do, but it does something. It revamps it. Uh, links can be found in the usual places: Discord, PayPal, Merch Store. Apart from that, thanks all for coming in, and I hope to see you in the next one. See you all, and take care. Bye, guys.